Okay, the last thing I want to do is fill in the sky. Add a new layer. Uh, the sky looks pretty bland, so what I want to do is go back to the channels. Select the blue channel again. Back to layers. Select filter, render, clouds. There we go. And now, even after doing that, click on the mask and add the mask. While you're still in the mask, just erase uh, the parts you don't need. It's really quick. It doesn't take much time. Back here. Alright. To this layer, I want to add a gradient map. So go up to Adjustments and select Gradient Map, or if you have an older version of Photoshop, you can hold down the Option key, select the Adjustments, and go to Gradient Map right here. This is just easier. Click on this. I want to pick a... Go. I'm going to reset the blue a little bit. The sky is not quite that cyan. Let's go to... Here. Okay. Hold down the Option key and fix this to the visibility of this layer and bam. Alright. Adjust the fill just a little bit. Go back in. Alright. Okay. You want to back this off just enough so that you don't get any artifacting around the ends, the edges of the foliage up in this area. It's got to all look absolutely natural. So, there you go. You have the original and the enhanced. And you can keep doing this for each aspect of this image because, like I said, there's this red that runs along the bottom here, and you've got this fence back here you could work on. Um, we can go in and repair, like, for right here, we'll just go back in and... Adjust this down. Let's clear this off a little bit and bring some life back into these plants down here that are, haven't wintered very well. Uh, repair the grass a little bit. Come in. Just all the way to the edge of the lawn here. You don't even have to be all that good at coloring either because, you know, if you go over the lines a little bit, it's really not that noticeable most of the time. Uh, there's some grass up in here we can polish up a little bit. We got everything. Everything looks nice and spring-like, early summer. We'll probably do a little bit more with this sign. You can just add another little bring in a layer, do the same kind of thing, hit this, just light, do linear burn. Linear burn is the same thing as subtract. Uh, let's take the brush up a little bit and a 
bring out the grill a little bit, the sign, add a mask, take off what you don't need. Like that. Um, adjust the levels a little bit. If you don't like it, you've already made the color. Just click this in. Bring this up. Does that make any noticeable change? Yeah. It increases the contrast a little bit. Get a little bit better definition. And it's looking pretty good. Not bad. Okay, the next thing to do after that is crop this down a little bit. You got some junk up here. You got useless stuff over here. Hit the crop tool. Um, this is a point of interest, so we just mm, leave this in a little bit. Want to come down? Uh, the Coca-Cola sign should be or arranged by rule of thirds. So. Try that. Um, you always want to hide. You don't want to delete the cropped area. Never delete the cropped area. That way, if you make a mistake, you want to go back and change it. When you want to do this, you get all the original back. So let's see how we did. Pull up the rulers, change this to percent. I want about 66% right there. It's the center of the Coke sign. Bring it down to 66. Uh, there's a little room for error here, but that's not bad. That's about where it needs to be. And now we have a well cropped, laid out image. Okay, let's hide the um, guidelines. Bring this up to 100% and take a look at it. Alright. Original. Kind of flat. A little too bright. Not a lot of contrast. Wintery. And considerably more depth. A lot better color. And just overall it looks very table photo book ready thank you very much i hope you learned some stuff catch you on the next one